Okay, I got my sound back again. Hallelujah. Okay, today for math, we are going to need this page right here. Page 239, 240, and it's lesson 120. Now, this is a test. It is a listening test to see how well you can follow directions, okay? So what you're going to have to do is listen very, very closely. You are going to need a ruler, okay? Make sure you have a ruler, an eraser, and everything for a test, okay? So if you need to, stop the tape, go back, and go get them, okay? So let's start on this side of the paper. Okay, now I need you to listen very, very carefully. Okay, this is a listening test. Can you follow directions? Okay, okay, the first one right here. We have one, two, three, four circles, right? Okay, we have four pizzas there. Ooh, four pizzas, okay? Listening? Mama bought a pizza for her children and she cut it into thirds. Mama bought a pizza for her children. She cut it into thirds. Which one of these circles shows how Mama cut the pizza? Show the circle that, it, that looks like the pizza that Mama cut in thirds, okay? Color the circle underneath, okay? Color that little circle below. All right? Okay. Number two. See where the starfish is, right? Where the starfish is, okay? Um, Kelly. Kelly was walking along the beach. She was walking along the beach. She was at the playa. And she saw nine starfish. She saw nine of them. They had washed up on the playa. Mm -hmm. She threw four of them back into the sea. Four of those starfish she threw back into the sea to help them. Okay? How many starfish were left on the playa? Okay? She saw nine of them. Have you ever seen starfish? I saw it once, real big ones. Well, Kelly saw them. And at first she was kind of scared so she didn't do anything. But then she started to throw them back, okay? She saw nine. She threw four of them back into the sea. How many starfish were left on the beach? Okay, you got that one? Okay. Number three. Okay, which one? Is, oh, I forgot to tell you. Which one of these sentences shows that, what Kelly did? Which one of these number sentences shows what Kelly did? She saw nine, four she threw back into the sea. Okay? Number three. There are four numbers there. Which one is the biggest number? Okay? Color the circle underneath of the biggest circle. Okay? Number four. Ready for number four? Okay? Ben. Ben had four M&Ms that were red. Four red ones. But he had three that were not red. Four were red, three were not red. How many M&Ms did Ben have all together? Whatever the answer is, color that number, okay? Color the number that tells how many M&Ms Ben had. Four red ones, three that were some other color. Okay, now down here we have the sea urchin at number five, right? Okay, you have to listen very carefully and think. Think really, really hard, okay? We're going to count backwards, okay? By twos. 100, 98, 96, 94, 92, 90. Right? Okay, we're counting backwards by twos. Okay, we're going to count backwards from 20. Boom, boom. Count backwards from 20. 
by twos, right? Okay. Now listen carefully. Are you listening? When you get to number 10, when you get to number 10, what number will you say next? We're counting backwards, backwards, backwards by twos, right? 88, 86, 84, 82, 80, 78, 76, 74, 72, 70, right? Counting backwards by twos. If you, when you get to number 10, when you get to number 10, what will the next number be that you say? Okay? Okay, so that's the number you're going to put at number 5 where the sea urchin is. Okay? Okay, number 6, the last one, the seagull. Ready for the seagull? Okay. A quarter. We have a dollar, right? We have a dollar. How many quarters are in one dollar? How many quarters are in one dollar? Okay. Turn over your paper. Now, this is where you really, really, really have to pay attention. Okay? Follow, listen carefully, listen carefully, and think, okay? Now, remember before, we had things like this. And we said each one of these shells counts as five, right? So here on Monday, what was the little girl's name? Oh, we forget what her name was. I think it was Molly. Molly found some shells, right? On Monday, she found 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Remember we did this before? Okay, on Tuesday, how many did she find? 5, 10, 15. Each one of these shells stands for five, right? Remember how we did that? Okay, now, you thinking? Are you thinking? Okay. Now, here is a manta ray. And if you take the glass bottom boat, you might see some of these. They're really cool. They're big. Now, what you need to do is get your ruler. And you need to measure this to find out how many inches, okay, across there, is this manta ray. How many inches is that? Okay? You got that? Okay, you're going to put that in this part here, right? So... Go ahead and measure it and put that number right there, okay? Okay, if you need, why don't you stop the video until you're ready for the next part, okay? Okay, now you have that measured. Now, look at this number, okay, whatever that number is, okay? Now, remember how here each one of these stood for five? Well, in your manta ray, each inch, each inch on here is going to stand for three. Now, what you want to do for every inch on there, that's going to be three feet to tell you how big this manta ray really is. And this guy is huge. I've never seen one that big. But this guy's really a jumbo one, okay? So now, here's what the directions say. Are you listening? For every inch, that's going to stand for three feet. So you need to count by threes. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty, thirty-three, thirty-six, thirty-nine. Boom. So, okay, you listening? So for every one of those inches, however many you have, say, say it's five. I'm not going to say how many it is. You would say three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, okay? For every inch, that's what you're going to do. Three, six, nine, twelve, okay? You can do that? So that's what you have to do. Put that right here, that number right here. First you measure it through ruler, and then for every inch on your that you measured on your ruler, you're going to count, and that's how many feet. How big is a foot? Remember, a foot's this, this big. 
okay? It says your daddy's foot. That's how big that manta ray really is, okay? So if you're not done yet, stop the video and then start it again when you're ready, okay? Now, right here, what do the directions say? It says, write the number before and after by twos. That's easy sneezy. You've done that many, many times. Okay, now the next part here is addition. And it's very easy, okay? Now, here's how it goes. Well, these are going to be subtraction, okay? Subtraction. Watching. We'll see if you can follow directions. I'm just going to give you a number. Let's say we have 28, okay? 28 minus 4, okay? Now, here's how we do this, okay? To make it easier, we're going to draw a line, okay? 8 minus 4 is what? 4, right? There's nothing there, right? Nothing there. So what are you going to do? You can pretend that's a zero if you want. Or you can just say two take away zero is two. Whatever that number is, boom, just bring it down. See that? Let's do another one. If I can find my eraser. Oh, there's my eraser. Okay, here we go. Let's do another one. How about... How about... Um, let's do 65. Oh, that's not good. 65 minus 3. Okay? What do we do? There's, okay, we always start on this side, right? Okay, 5 minus 3 is what? Easy, 2, right? Okay, there's 6 there, there's nothing there. Six take away nothing is six. So 65 minus 3 is 62. You see how we do that? Okay, now what I want you to do is do the same thing here. It is so easy, right? You guys are so smart. You can do that. And then the last one down here is count by fives. Count by fives. And you all can count by fives, right? Starting at 150. Count by fives, easy sneezy, okay? So there's your test. Have fun doing it. And when your mommy turns your papers in, I will see what a good listener you are. Already, You have to listen and think for this test, right? And that's what I want to see. Can you listen and can you think? Have fun.